School of Data is a platform to empower citizens to strengthen democracy through transparency and open data. I'm Amber. School of Data is all about enabling organizations and journalists to work with data, to drive social change and to tell important stories about communities and their society. I can't imagine how happy I am to have you all here. It's the very, very first time when all School of Data members are meeting physically. <laughs> The summer camp is our first opportunity to meet each other in person, to strengthen the, the network and to understand how we're going to grow together. The purpose of this summer camp is really, I think, to, to give us the right skill set to be able to engage our community and to, you know, spread the word on, on what data is all about. It's an opportunity to share and, and learn more, uh, get much more insight uh, on what is happening around uh, data and new tools and uh, share new skills as well. Section of lots of domains. There are people from um, also like backgrounds from philosophy, um, teaching, training, hardcore, technical, community building. School of Data has the support of a huge, wonderful community and with people that actually know what they're doing and they have a very clear plan. You know, even if the road is not very, very well paved with all the steps, they know exactly where they want to get. There's a whole lot of knowledge in within uh, the people that are doing this and organizing this. Uh, so everyone needs to tap into it and we should continue to share this knowledge within the ecosystem. School of Data has experience doing trainings all around the world. But what we very often faced was the challenge of how do you create a long-term impact when you're only present on the ground for a short period of time? Well, the answer is to train local trainers who are immersed in the community and who are staying in the community all year long. The fellowship program is like selecting leaders or trainers from different countries who can empower their communities and train data skills and spread uh, this data love in, in their community. One of the roles is delivering trainings, developing materials, training materials and modules for the school and uh, building community in the different areas where we come from. We just started a new fellowship program where we have 12 fellows from all around the world. We'll do two trainings with each of them in their respective countries we bring them together in events like this where we share skills. We try to build them to confident leaders who can take over data trainings in other parts of the world. The fellowship is very important. I'm very, I very much wanted to get it because in Macedonia you have so many NGOs. They fight for very nice causes, but they have no data to support it. They just don't know how to work with data. So if I learn that and make a workshop or training and share my knowledge with all the NGOs and then journalists and students, it would be perfect. My plan is to do a pilot project with a particular CSO and NGO and to pair them up with tech people so that they can get like a powerful story through the data and showing them like this is what you can come up with. Um, this is how strong your message can be if you use data. It's always great to be with people that are eager to learn but to be with people that want to share and to teach, it's even, even better than that. So that's the part I definitely love the most. If you really want to have a team building experience, I think it's crucial to spend intense time and moments with each other and see different aspects of, of people. I would never have learned that some of our fellows can play the ukulele and sing if it wasn't for this event. It really helps, I think, to engage a community when, when you make people feel like they're part of the process. Now, after this camp, everything is, is a lot clearer. The vision is, is clearer. Um, I know exactly um, how to do things and, and how to make data more relevant in, 
in a country like the Philippines, for example.